My name is Associate Professor Sam Ord and I am the Director of the Intensive Care Department here at Nepean Hospital. At Nepean Hospital I'm a full-time intensive care specialist and I also try and help run the intensive care department here. So I'm looking forward to many, many things about this new intensive care unit. As part of the redevelopment, we're going to be going up to building 36 intensive care beds. It's going to have uh, a department that is built around nursing staff. So one of the things the pandemic taught me is, is that I routinely, and we all call them intensive care units. One of the things the pandemic taught me is that we should really call them intensive nursing units. Nursing staff are absolutely fundamental to the care of patients who are critically ill. And so one of the main ethos I've bought to try to design the ICU is to make it easy to nurse. Other things I'm looking forward to is we've designed a unit that is built for pandemics and built for, you know, God, I hope we don't get another pandemic, but it's, it's built around the possibility that we might, and particularly pandemics that are about aerosolization of uh, viruses or bacteria. Next thing that I'm really looking forward to about this unit is the access to natural light. We are doubling the access of our patients to natural light uh, from what we have in the unit at the moment. And we have also created, I'd argue, some of the best balcony access for patients that I've ever seen in any intensive care unit. It's one of the things I'm most, I'm proud of a lot of things in this, in the, the redesign, but having got through these, not just one, but we've got two balconies that are gonna be able to care for critically ill patients. So my name's Neen Nguyen. I'm an intensive care consultant, um, but also uh, the clinical lead for the Nepean redevelopment. Yeah, so we've started on stage two of uh, what is a $1 billion uh, redevelopment for the Nepean Hospital. Uh, in stage two for the intensive care, we get 36 new ICU beds, um, which is uh, really exciting. Yeah. So there's been really careful planning in the location and the level that the intensive care unit will be in uh, for the second tower, which is stage two. The intensive care unit is going to be on level five where the 36 ICU beds will be and the level below that uh, will have some administrative space uh, for staff areas as well as the simulation centre. Now the reason why it's on level 5 is really important because at the moment level 5 of tower A is the cath suite and um, the, the sort of cardiac cath suite uh, and also the combined ICU cardiology echo lab. So when Tower 2 joins on, there's be a whole floor across both buildings that is um, for those uh, critically ill. So you can imagine there'll be ease of access for those who um, might have a, a coronary angiogram or, or have a, a problem um, having had a heart attack and they need intensive care, they'll be able to come across from Tower A to Tower B um, seamlessly. So we're in main works at the moment, um, and so there's a flurry of activity, and we anticipate that the building will be uh, completed by the end of uh, 2025, with a stage commissioning starting in 2026.